Hey everybody, my name's Ian. I'm back again, this time to give you an update on scenarios, the most modern approach to future state modeling in the market. So whether you're using an EA solution today or you're simply using PowerPoint, Visio, and Excel, the fact is, is when you're designing futures, it's usually disconnected from the ever-changing data that is your current you know, landscape or, or as is. And that can be the same for solution architects, for project managers, or even enterprise architects. The fact is, is all of these roadmaps and design diagrams that we create are usually either very abstract and high level, or they're disconnected and therefore at risk of becoming incomplete or inaccurate. What this means is that when we do our cost benefit analysis on which scenario or which future we want to pursue, we're doing so on a foundation of data that is not true. And that leads to time and budget overruns in any change in IT project. And we see this time and time again. That's why RDoc has created scenarios. Scenarios takes everything we've learned from collaborative code development and applies it to architecture. Since we have the data-driven and fully collaborative approach to building your as-is, using things like automation and collaboration to make sure that data is trustworthy, we've applied that same principle to how you should deal with the future. Branching is a great way of allowing you to take your as-is, create multiple future state scenarios, and make sure that your designs are always in sync with the ever-changing ecosystem that you operate within. And the reason why that's so important is that no design is actually perfect on delivery. It's always going to need to change and pivot as your organization changes. There's new projects spinning up, there's new systems being brought in, old systems being removed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this can be an extremely challenging thing to manage, especially at scale. So what happens is that architects are often left to working at a very abstract level or on very long roadmaps, which don't really have the full buy-in and belief that they're able to be realized into the organization. So really undermining our entire value of being able to help manage change and keep the guiding light for our strategic objectives. Now, branching provides a really unique opportunity. Since we're not copying or tagging the data as you would in many other solutions, but branching it, you have the speed and flexibility to create multiple scenarios without cluttering your data set, keep up to date as things change, and manage the approval and merge process back into the main line which is something that's been newly released today. And since this is all done in RDoc's out-of-the-box SaaS collaborative platform, you have all the support you need for automated visualizations, heat mapping, data analysis, and collaboration without needing to fragment your data over multiple tool sets. So how does it work? Well, for those of you that are familiar with code branching, uh, it's pretty straightforward. For those of you that haven't really gotten into that space before, it's probably something entirely unique to what you've thought of. So what you have is your main line or production data, which is basically your as is in your architecture. And that main line, that is the foundation of truth. That is the one place where decisions should be made and understanding that what the data is, is, is as accurate as possible. But that data should be also utilized for how do we think about the future? We should be able to build futures based on where we are today. So when a change is being suggested, what you do in RDoc is you would branch your main line, and that might be a total branch of everything you have or just a subset of the data that you want to manage at speed. You can then model multiple different futures and, and come up with different examples on how you can make different changes to realize that strategic objective. You can use the collaborative platform to visualize all these changes, to run auto differentiation, to create presentations for your stakeholders, and eventually do the evaluation for getting the buy-in to implement. As the implements happen, you're able to merge your changes back into the main line. But the key difference with branching versus copying is that when the changes happen in the main line, you can also keep your scenarios up to date. So you can actually push changes from your main line into your branch to make sure that your designs are always taking into consideration the ever-changing environment. Now this is critical in order to make sure that you don't have conflicts when it comes to implementation. We've all seen this when we run to implement a project change and we're totally unawares of another project operating in the same area and basically moving the goalpost before delivery. So what are the benefits of this? Well, it's pretty straightforward. With better and high-speed data-driven scenario modeling, you're able to increase the agility and speed of the organization. You're able to increase the level of collaboration across uh, different stakeholders and different teams, and basically deploy new features and new futures much, much quicker to market. The data-driven approach allows you to ensure that your analysis and your delivery are based on a truth and understanding of the ever-changing landscape around you. So build off that data, but then also utilize it in your analysis for the futures. Understanding how different changes are gonna impact cost, complexity, risk, et cetera, and be able to show that data back to your stakeholders for building the best cost-benefit analysis to begin with. Finally, since we are again a full SaaS solution, you have all the collaborative tooling, tooling you expect, 
and the full control of being able to make sure that data governance and approvals happen with well-documented processes. So if you'd like to see the scenario module in action, please do reach out to sales at rdoc.com, or if you're an existing customer, reach out to your customer success manager or cs at rdoc.com. We look forward to hearing from you.